So we're gonna be speaking about patio drains, right? How does that work on the exterior patio? So with modern architecture, it's pretty common that we have parapet walls, right? So we have flat roofs, commercial roofs is very common. And what that means is there's a roof drain system. So what does help, you know, if you think of a more traditional home plan, transitional home, maybe with steep trusses, you know, all that rainwater, you have to account for all the body of water that hits on the footprint of that house and roof structure, you know, that's gonna be pouring down onto the property around the house. Now, for that reason, a lot of times, especially in the heavy rain season, which we have in the summer for monsoon season, that's why those homes will typically have rain gutters, right? You have rain gutters to capture all that roof, roof rain, and then you're dispersing that away from the house because the whole goal here is we want to keep water away from the home. Now, with modern architectures, you see here, you know, we have our soffits and parapet walls, so we do have some roof drains that's going to help with the, the rainwater. However, here on the deck, Although we have overhangs to some extent, right? A little bit more minor on the great room, a little bit bigger here on the primary bedroom and, and pretty big, you know, where we have sun exposure because this is the north side of the house. So on the south side of the home, you know, on the west side of the home, we have really big overhangs, right? To protect it from the sun. But in addition to that, you have to think about the rainwater, right? We don't want rain, especially with the low overhang. We don't want water coming in through the multi-side or through the thresholds. So you can see here our configuration. So with our civil engineer, it's very well designed, right? We have uh, French drains all throughout here. In our landscaping, we have drains. In our site walls and retaining walls, we have drains that take all the water out. And then everything is sloped. Ideally, we don't want rainwater pouring onto the deck. We don't want it sloping away from the house into the pool because as it comes into the pool, now you're bringing that dirty rainwater and, and there could be dirt and debris and silt, right, that comes into the pool, which you're trying to avoid. So you always have to make sure that with your pool coping, that's sitting on top of the bond beam for the pool, that now we have negative slope away. Well, now because we're in a tight space, we have this large gray room and we have the pool, pretty close proximity, so it's almost like a V. And to help that, we have these linear drains. So we have these linear drains all by design. We have some slope, you can see here right off the hot tub, we have this nice little slope down to that drain. We have slope from the house. So you're creating these little Vs, again, as maximum as you can so that you can make sure that you don't have any water potentially backing up but also as minimum as possible so that you're not feeling it walking you know that you're walking through this you know this v and you're kind of you know off balance and so there's a lot of coordination with the civil engineer and so these patio drains have been installed and the way we did them instead of having those some of you may have seen at maybe commercial drains where they're kind of plastic and they're big and no one wants to see those because they really take away from the design aesthetic these are linear drains that are underneath, almost like troughs. So as the water goes in between our hardscape, you know, falls down there, captures all the rainwater and takes it out. So again, all throughout this build, we have those patio drains. Anywhere where we have, um, you know, multi-sliders and, you know, access points to the exterior so to make sure we're keeping water away from the build. And again, more importantly, what you don't want to happen, we don't want water touching concrete. Concrete's very porous and it can suck that water in and we don't want to have water coming to the house, especially where we have wood pouring. So make sure you understand, you know, and coordinate with your civil engineer, do a walk. It's really important for us at pre-construction, we're always meeting with our pool contractor. We're making sure that we have the exact pad heights correct, because a lot of times, like in this case, we're building the pool first. So we have to make sure that all of our points that we're surveying line up so that we can have the correct slope when we get to this stage of